So this for me is the ultimate test. Can a real sly swing still hit this ball straight? <laughs> That's actually ridiculous. That flight was so straight. So apparently these golf balls help you hit it straighter. It says in the box, 75% self-correcting. There's only one way to find out. We've got to test these golf balls. They reckon they go straighter. Well, let's see if that's the truth. Guys, I'm Rick Shields. If you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. Make sure you hit subscribe. And if you enjoy the video, smash that like. So I picked these up online because I couldn't, I saw them and I was like, surely a golf ball can't go straighter. It reckons it corrects hooks and slices. Wow, that is a bold statement. The box is okay. It looks premium enough. It almost looks like a bit of a Shrixen box. Kind of gives me those vibes. And on closer inspections, so I've not really seen these balls before. The dimple pattern is very peculiar. I'm not sure if you can pick that up on the camera there. Through that middle section, the dimples are described as almost quite flat and not very deep. Seems like they spread out quite a bit. But on closer inspection to the kind of opposite ends of the golf ball there, the pattern changes. The pattern actually gets a little bit deeper with the dimple. And actually the dimples inside of dimples in what looks like a square kind of setup. I've never seen a dimple formation like that before. Are these, are these can't be conforming, surely. Apparently there's 386 dimples that count redesigned to deliver a softer feel. That's not a soft golf ball. <laughs> um, for more correcting control and distance. If you are not 100% satisfied, you can send the balls back. I'd be interested in testing. I'm going to get them out on the golf course and hope I'm going to hit myself, see if it eliminates not only my hook, but I'm going to see if I can slice some as well, see if it fixes that. And then I've got to potentially get hold of some golfers out on the course as well. Before I do that, I've seen the dimple pattern art changes. This wouldn't be a ball video without these bad boys. Let's cut open this straight golf ball. I'm going to cut it straight down the line of where it says straight. Ultimate straight. Now, I think the trick is, I might be wrong in this, yeah. The trick is you've got to line the ball up with that ultimate straight. Now, as I saw a minute ago, this isn't a soft ball. Not sure what to expect inside this. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to expect anything crazy. I think it's all about the dimple pattern, which is really unique. What is inside the straight ball? Yeah, quite underwhelming. It's a two-piece golf ball. There's not much going on. It looks like a very generic budget golf ball. So nothing much going on inside. It's all about that dimple pattern. Right, straight golf balls, do they work? Well, let's get on the golf course find out okay so we're down here at the golf course at marriott worsley park and i've got the straight balls in the bag now after some more research i've found out these balls are illegal for tournament play i kind of guess that might be the case but let's see if they actually work do they go straight now before giving them a whack on the golf course to seeing if i can always hit every single fairway all the time which is apparently these balls go 75 percent straighter so they should be one thing I just want to check is what are they like on the green? Because in theory, dimples shouldn't affect putts. So on the box, it says that you always have to line up this ultimate straight line. Now I'm just intrigued on the putting green. What happens if you don't? Now, in fairness, if you're using this ball, you're going to be kind of illegal anyway. You're going to be possibly cheating anyway. So maybe you'd line that ball up regardless of where the ball is, but on putting, is there any difference? Is there some kind of weight, maybe either side of that, that helps it go straight? Well, let's see if there is. I'm gonna line that up straight, but then also tilt it way off to the right. So now, that is completely not straight to that line. In theory, not to how the recommendations of the packages says you need to use it. But can it still go straight? Is it just the dimple patterns that makes it go straight? Or, Is there some hidden weight system? Well, doesn't seem like there's any hidden weight system. It only seems like 
those dimples are going to have an effect on full flights. Okay, first hole here at the Marriott Worsley Park. See if this ball actually makes it go straight. And now it says you've got to line up that line straight, which is actually easier said than done. What I'm going to do, I'm going to play a first couple of holes, lining the ball up straight every shot. Iron shots, chip shots, putts. See if it actually works. See if I can hit it straighter. Then I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to see if I can tilt the ball. And I'm going to see if I can slice it. Can I actually slice this ball? Right. First hole, you don't really want to go right. Left is not great either. Straight shot is required. Let's see what happens with ultimate straight. Two things to note. That went unbelievably straight, but the flight was awful. I hit it, granted, a little bit out of the bottom of the club head, but the ball seemed to like dip. It seemed to almost like nosedive. However, wait till I show you where that ball is. There's a center line down the fairway and that ball's not far away from it. That was very unusual. So this was that middle line I was talking about. This is the middle of the fairway and check out where my ball is. Now I am 150 yards away. So this is where you've got to cheat with this ball because normally you're not allowed to move your ball. But seeing that we're uh, playing illegally anyway, I'm going to line up the ultimate straight with our target. I'm going to hit a nine iron. Let's see again if I can uh, hit a straight one. And that is right in the middle of the green. <laughs> oh, that's right in the middle of the green. I mean, I'm not expecting to miss direct it too much with a nine iron, but that flight was so straight. Okay, so we found middle of the green. So birdie opportunity. The one thing that surprised me with that ball, as much as I thought it was a hard ball, Actually got a little bit of action. It spun back maybe six or seven foot. I'll get the pitch mark and then we'll see if we roll this in. Birdie chance, so I'm going to use the line again. Now this time, I suppose I've got to use the line on where I want the ball to start because it's a left to right putt, it's not a straight putt. Ultimate straight is lined up, activated. <laughs> that had a good look in. That had a, <laughs> I thought I'd actually hold it then. Uh, I'm not going to line it up. I'm going to be a rebel. If it misses, it wasn't my fault. Right, par with the ultimate straight ball. So after the success of the first hole and how straight I hit these balls then, now this might be jumping the gun a little bit, but there's an opportunity here for a par three. There's no groups behind us. Seeing that these are straight balls, can I get a hole in one? I'm going to hit five shots, line each one up to make sure that they are perfect in line with that flag. It's 150 yards downhill. I'm going to hit a nice little nine iron. What do you reckon my chances are? I'm going to hit five, line it up, see if we can get a hole in one with a straight ball. It's a tiny bit left. So I'm going to learn from that and aim this one a tiny bit to the right. I think there's a fraction of wind up there. Right. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, lost a little bit of confidence in that ball for me there. That flight was so unusual. It almost like it got to the top of its flight and didn't know which way to fall. For me, that was going to draw every day of the week. I can tell when I hit a little tight draw. And that got to the top of the flight and I thought it was going to come back to the left. It tailed weirdly off to the right. Mm. Now that is on it. Stay there. They come out long, these golf balls. It's a definite different kind of flight you get from them. That's longer than normal because I'm hitting a nice easy 9 iron there and that shouldn't be flying past the flag. Right, two more. Oh, that looks tidy. Come back a little bit to the right. Oh, be good. Cut a little bit, cut a little bit. Oh, 
those dimples on the sides are doing something different. They are, they've got to be, because the flights on those, certainly shot number, whichever it was, two and last one, got to the top of the flight and it was almost like it was, as it says in the box, self-correcting a little bit, even though, in fairness, it didn't need self-correcting. Straight balls, zero holding ones. And before we leave this tee, <laughs> Those, those shots, in a weird way, kind of felt like they worked. They weren't the greatest shots, but I hit them pretty solid and they all stayed fairly straight. While I'm in the groove, what happens if I do tilt this ball not straight? So I'm gonna tilt it almost just slightly randomly on the floor. None of the logos are lined up at all. It's not top over tail. It's not perfectly parallel to the target. Let's see if this makes much of a difference after now I'm in a bit of a trend. I'm uh, intrigued to know what this ball's going to do. It moves weird. Oh, there's something going on. I'm not quite sure what it is, but that moved weird. You know when you get a dodgy driving range ball and you think that's not flown correctly? That was a little bit like that. It almost got to the top of its flight and it was confused what it was trying to do. That was when it wasn't lined up at all. And that is actually the furthest away shot. Mm. <laughs> and as always folks, make sure you do repair your divots, hitting straight balls or non-straight balls. Look after your course. Gents, just a quick one for you, shoot. I'm testing a golf ball that apparently says in the pack it goes 75% straighter. He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. So all you've got to do, the line on the ball, you've got to line up straight. It's not one of these exploding ones, is it? When no. we hit it, we get covered and they're wrong. Well, it went straight, didn't it? Oh. Yeah, it did. <laughs> what normal shot do you hit? Um, a draw. Straight, aren't you, really? Oh, yeah. See that 75% in this other one. Is that straight? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, did you see the first one? Yeah. <laughs> I saw the first one, yeah. Well, that was straight. Was straight. Yeah, it was well, it straight. did, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's so a quick one. I saw these online and bought them. The only caveat, and this I'd love to get your opinion on this, they are illegal. So you can't play them in tournament play. Right. And from what I've seen so far, you have to use that line straight on every shot because right. it produces some foot. So even on the fairway, you'd have to line it up straight. Yeah. Are you guys the type of golfers that would be bothered about that? Would it matter that you kind of effectively cheated? Would, would you be bothered? No. I would. You would a little yeah, bit? I would. I would. At our I standard, would. I don't think it makes a difference. What about you, Ian? I think everybody would have to play the same because we play it with a lot of our friends mm. uh, in two sort of groups. So if we were picking it up and placing it all the time, yeah that would be well you, you can't do that no. so we'd all have to play off the same if we were playing as a group thank you guys thanks for your all time right, appreciate you, it thanks. guys you can keep those ones if you find them <laughs> to be fair the three shots i saw them hit the first shots and they weren't massively straight but then the three that have just hit they, they hit straight like there was no two doubts about it now comes the ultimate test i'm gonna hit driver with the straight ball three of them I'm going to compare it to the premium golf ball. These are tailor-made TP5s, the legal golf balls, what you're allowed to use in competition use. Let's hit three with each. I'll alternate between the two to see if there's much difference. Now, my bad shot typically is a little bit left. So let's see if the straight ones go straight. I'll start off with the tailor-made one first. So before I do this driver test, one thing I did notice on the back of the box, which granted I didn't use for the very first opening tee shot, but it says, ideally, use one of the head drivers or a 10 and a half degree driver, which, in fairness, might make sense to why that first tee shot dipped out the sky. Now, luckily, I can move this driver up from nine degrees to the desired 10 and a half degrees. See if that makes much of a difference. I'm just going to just get down the left side of the fairway. That's perfect for this hole. It's exactly what I'm going to aim for. Oh, that's... Okay, so that was with the tailor-made premium ball. I hit it slightly from the toe, but that's moved left. 
that has missed the fairway. That's not a straight golf shot. Okay, ultimate straight. Let's see if uh, let's see if this one's much better. Line it up is not easy. Right, that's straight to where I'm going. And as much as that looks like it's weirdly lost a lot of distance, it had that odd shape on it. Again, it doesn't seem to go up in the air. That's middle of the fairway. That is absolutely middle of the fairway. Right, tailor made. Yeah, that's perfect. It started absolutely on the money and then just moved slightly to the left, which is my normal shot shape anyway but it was up in the air and it was long. <laughs> That's perfect. It's, it's much shorter in distance, but that is so unbelievably straight. Right, one more round, tailor made then straight. That's left. That's a typical miss for me, a little bit drawy. That has missed the fairway, it's long but it's not ideal, right. For three out of three with the straight ball. I'll tell you what, it gives you a level of confidence that almost feels like when you go bowling, there's almost like barriers up to the sides. Because I've not missed centre yet with the straight ball. As long as you line it up, I'm gonna give this one an absolute rip. Okay, that last one has just missed fairway left. That's the widest shot I've hit with the straight ball. It's, even that, it's not that bad. The one thing I noticed between the two golf balls, which was different, was the height and the distance. Even cranking my driver up with more loft to 10 and a half degrees, the straight flighty balls just weren't going up in the air. It seems to just, I don't know, almost like fall out of the sky a little bit. I suppose there's two reasons for that. Probably needs even more loft to get it up in the air, or a slightly slower swing speed. Now, one thing I do want to test though, is what happens when a swing is really extreme slice. You know the guy who slices it like crazy. I've taught the guy who slices like crazy. What happens when we put a golf ball down, it's supposed to be straight, but I try and do a bit of a wacky slice swing. Can it still find the fairway? Let's find out. So this for me is the ultimate test. Can a real slice, and I'm going to slice this, can a real slice swing still hit this ball straight. I just can't see how it, I cannot see how it can do it. Let's see, so I'm gonna go ultimate. So the ball is aiming straight to my fairway, but I am gonna go ultimate slice action. Here we go, open face, cut across it. <laughs> so even with that ultimate slice swing, the ball still managed to go straight and find the fairway. That's actually ridiculous. That was honestly, that ball, with an, I'm gonna stay there, stay there just to prove this is a normal ball. I'm gonna put something similar onto that normal ball. I'm gonna do another slice swing. Gone forever, never to be found again. There's a couple of things that I didn't expect from this golf ball to do. One thing I didn't expect to do was work. I didn't expect for one second for it to, to give any advantage whatsoever. That just proves aerodynamics, whatever dimpling pattern on the ball definitely has an effect. I think it suits a slower swing player with more loft. But again, bear in mind, and please do bear this in mind, this isn't used for legal use in tournament play, but if you're not bothered about that, there might be some help. If you want to just go out and play golf, you want to enjoy it, you're sick of losing golf balls, you're sick of wasting time, you're sick of stopping slicing it, weirdly, this might be worth trying. That was the ultimate slice ball, and that went dead straight. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like. I'm totally shocked, totally surprised. I didn't expect that result one bit. That is crazy.